But they so came from that. Like, these are the same people I used to hit backwards. I know. And all of a sudden, everybody all sheets and funnel. They don't even hit backwards. And we're like, dog, get the, come on. Hey, yo, stop playing And then as you, soon as they run out of funnel, they asking me for scraps of my backwards. Hey, yo, nah, nah. So, nah. so you don't hit backwards, but you'll, you'll burn it up and break it down. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yo, okay. yo, yo, it's another episode of The Lord Show. It's Talk TV. Live from the DMV, doing how it's supposed to be. Listen to me. I hope you got some kush at the crib. Ow, it ain't Carmen. <laughs> and Carmen. Some cat in the bed and some cash in your pocket. What more can be said? I'm your host, B. Moore, a.k.a. Princess Amunda. Tonight, we're talking about a whole lot of shit. But first, make sure you smash that like button. Smash that shit. I need you to smash that phone. Smash your phone for Ish Talk. Okay. Please like it, subscribe, do all of it. Cash app, please hit us. We need funding. Donations, <laughs> donations, donations. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Umar in the house. All right. Now, shout to man, man. Maybe a uh, uh, champagne Ron is gonna come through. But we have the lovely Carmen Cush in the house. Thank you for coming. You have right now. Always high. Welcome, <laughs> Carmen. Welcome. Never give her a big I ain't, hey. never, I ain't never seen a guest hold a mic with their legs. But. Oh, hey. Yeah, it looked like something else. Oh, hey. AMS, what's that thing? AMSR, like when you make sounds, like on YouTube, like I don't know. This is from this is thing on YouTube where people just listen to stuff. Like er uh, uh, like, uh, like that. So if, you, if a woman, you know, you can do that little macaroni sound, you might get a million views. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, that's neither here nor there. Okay. Now, <laughs> number 10 is about to be yeah. lit. That's yeah. all I got to say for y'all. <laughs> can you tell the people your uh, IG and where they can reach you before we start? Um, yes, I am Carmen Kush. I can be found on all platforms at K-A-R-M-A-N-K-U-S-H and or K-U-S-H-A-N-D-K-O-M-B-O. That's Kush and Combo. That's my brand. That's my show. Tune in. Come get in the bed with me. That's your thing you be getting then you you have people in the bed with you? Yeah. I like that. Where do you get that from? <laughs> that, that that intimate, like, you can't go nowhere. I'm gonna ask you these questions. Exactly. People are very open when they're in the bed and you can get them in that intimate setting, that intimate yeah. That pillow talk is what's up, huh? Oh. Yeah, you probably get a lot of information that way. <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's a good business model that's a good business model hey i dig it i dig it i dig it you got you got kush dolls i do tell them yeah. about that young ladies who come and service and serve i guess choo choo this is the only thing that we got to deal with the ish shop but we know we deal with the airway you feel me money train right money train money yeah. train <laughs> what the fuck? I know. You gotta just deal with it, baby. It's number 10. Choo! Choo! Like, that's Stop how we train, feel me? Hey, we just coming. We just coming. We don't have nothing to say, we just coming. Just coming. Just deal with it. Keep saying coming like that. It's y'all coming. Come, come. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Tell me about fish dolls real quick. Young ladies who come and they assist me with the show, and so they will prepare the marijuana, so they'll roll the J's, they'll uh, make the drinks and things like that. Why I, you know, so I have the conversations with the guests, but yeah, they're my young queens that come in. It's like you bring the party, that's it's lit. Yeah. That's good. You yeah. bring the party with you, that goes anywhere. You got some rolling the J's for you? That, don't say it like that, no. They, <laughs> they, 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 don't do that, don't, because it doesn't, I don't ever want them to think about it like that, no. But yes, they Branding's do. important. And they do assist in preparing the marijuana for, yeah. Nigga, you said branding is important? Yes. So you don't say, Roll J's. Okay. You say prepare. Okay. But because it's an urban intelligence of Fist of Ratchet show. So exactly. Just saying roll the J's, they are preparing the marijuana while we are like, don't do that. No, I, I'm about to say, I give, you, I give you a lot of credit because I'm thinking about getting a tattoo of this talk, but you got a tattoo of your brand. Of, yeah. Uh, my logo. She believes in herself, man. Believe in yourself. That's why I, I wanna that's why I wanted to have you on the show because 
I appreciate your hustle and your consistency, and you've been doing this for a while. But it's dedication for you to get a tattoo oh, yeah. of your brand. No, because it mean, I mean, my brand means something too. I didn't do it to become somebody from it. I am becoming somebody from it. I've gotten movie deals. I've gotten all types of shit. So I did this because I stumbled upon a scene that I didn't know about that deserves to be known about. Like, it's a lot of talent in this area that is overseen. And I'm spending money on people who already been known. I'm going to see Jay-Z, Jeezy, Wayne. Or they, we know them. We, they know we, we got them. These people are trying to become them or get there. So let me help them because I'm one of those people. You you want me. You want a fan. I'm a fan. I'm here to come. And, and I do that. I've gone to L.A. to support somebody from here. I've gone, like, I'm going, if I fuck with you and I like what you're doing, I'm going to support you the same way I supported all of those other brands and people. You keep and the same energy. Yes, 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 yes. They deserve it. They're deserving of it. It's not like I'm just doing it because I want, they are talented. And it's like, who? why don't they people know? No, y'all need to be known about. You're right. You're right. It's and about that brand. That's what my show is all about. That's what it's all about. It's not about me trying to be like, no, no. I still, to this day, every Wednesday, go to the showcase and support mm -hmm. these people. That's what's up. Tell us more about the showcase. I mean, it's a, a brand, Keys to the City. Um, shout out to them. It wouldn't be no Carmen Cushion or Cushion Convo without them. So I'm going to always show them love. That's um, real when shit. When I come back to see, actually, my show is about to turn six on the 16th. That's when I did my first episode. Ooh. And so I always continue to show them love. But who, who the people keys to the city? That's sleep in Elway. Um Elway dot Southeast. That's E L W A Y dot S E and Sleep oh it's D Z S M E because we used to be with Brick Squad. So mm. um but they hope they I don't know how long before I got involved, but I stumbled into it in twenty fifteen and they've been throwing showcases. They do it every Wednesday. It used to be at Red Lounge uptown. Now it's on a, at a lower lounge on H Street in Northeast. And they, you know, let the local talent come out and display their their talent. And every week I'm in there like showing love and support and Letting these people know you're not doing this for nothing. Like, if I really, if you came in and you showed out, I stopped them. I let them know, like, I'm a fan. Like, what's your next show? Like, mm -hmm. I'm there. And when they have something else, it could, I'm there. If I'm not busy, I'm coming. I don't care if it's out of town, in town, uptown, downtown. I'm there. You're supporting. That's what yeah, I'm talking that's, about. That's, that's what it's all that's about. That's what they're doing it for. They're not, I don't want them to ever feel like I just did. I just came here and performed these two songs for nothing. Or I made these clothes for nothing. Like people aren't buying it as much as they're going to H&M or Nordstrom's or this. So they buying Balenciaga. And I'm like, go spend that 1500 on somebody here that spent 1500 mm. to make that shit. You're right. Like, mm. seriously. Keep the money with us. You, yeah. you know, you got to keep the money with it over here. You might be the next Balenciaga. Then you're going to be, oh, man, that was my. No, no. Nah, they going to remember right that I was there when you wasn't, when you thought you was nobody. Now you somebody. I knew that. I saw that. I, I'm with you. I mean, you got to shout out to all these brands, like even like Madness from back yes. in the day, like yes. come through, yes. like yes. pull yes. up. Yes. Bam has yes. actually put like, yes. a, like a brand on, you know, DMV area, Seriously. you know what I'm saying? Yes. DC area, yes. you know, yes. like shout out to Madness. Like, Shooter. you know, they look, yeah, Madness. all that. Exactly. Yes. I used to oh. sell that joint in t t-shirt joint. <laughs> what? Yes. No, I'm, 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 I may not look my age, but I know all about all of that. That's all lit. That's lit. You know? See? And that's what I'm talking about. Like that natural branding so when you talk about those brands you actually have like actual you know origin that you come with it so that's what it's talking about so so shout out for that let's go at it and just go into that storm man we had the dmv and talking about dmv man that storm storm came out it's like i was like she's mad she saw the she's mad <laughs> Say in the house, like oh please. My God. Oh my God. Bro, I live in Greenbelt. I live in that neighborhood. And everybody was posting about it. Trees, big old 60, 100 year old trees just falling down on, on ghetto apartments. I, you know, I saw <laughs> Yo, it was for real. It's not even, it's not even bro, funny. Bro. I seen it. No, I saw it's it. not, but the way you it. said that, that was after, funny. After it, like we lost, we lost electricity, so we walked out. You know, just just to see the aftermath. Um, half of a building roof was ripped off. Damn. But 30 minutes after, guess what? Hey, shout out to the amigos. 30 Jeez. minutes after the storm, they was already on the fucking roof. I, I'm just That's walking out here. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Hey, uh, go ahead, man. At least do a better impersonation than that, man. That, that, that was a little Arabic, but anyway, they, they were throwing shit Hold off up, the roof. That was not Arabic. Not they were throwing that. shit off the roof, and then that show, I turned around, saw another amigo pulling up in the pickup truck. Hey, with a dude, gracias. With a dude with a ladder on it. Gracias like, por todo. <laughs> yo, give them, that, give them their uh, citizenship. <laughs> yo, you what? They deserve that shit. Hey. But I felt sorry for the people. They were, like, outside, like, they had to, they took all their prized possessions or whatever it was. I mean, it's rough, and man. We started over, bro. I know. And my wife was just like taking pictures like it was amusement park. I'm like, you can't do that. That's people's like livelihood. You can't be a... Nah, she posting that joint B. But what, did it any did it affect y'all? Anybody? I mean, my luckily my family, they live in that area, but luckily it was not, you know, hit or anything. Things were nice and smooth, but I heard a lot of Folks that I know in Greenbelt area, particularly, that got really got hit with a lot of like crazy stories, and you got to deal with insurance. That's a lot of crap you got to deal with, man. And it's the people, like you say, you like you said, in areas that don't have that much money. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay. Shout out and prayers to those yeah, people that have to go sorry, through those tough down. issues for real, for real. But hey, let's what, talk about. But what about you? Did you good or did no? You, did I you, was good. My car. Like Mm-hmm. No. Your electricity went off? Thank God, no. Yeah. If it would have, I might have thought like, damn, did I pay the bill? <laughs> no, did I, did I do? Oh, oh. was My it the storm went... or was it the bill? <laughs> oh, oh, snap. Go ahead. No, the whole apartment was out, so I'm like, okay, everybody going to suffer. Mm. <laughs> and no AC, damn, too? I went to sleep early. Fuck that. Um, but yeah, shout out to the Amigos, man. They, they, were, they were doing that shit. Um, but you got, a, you got an event coming up. Uh, uh, yes, full party. August, Where, August 13th. Um, yes, check out. I have the post on my page. It's coming up August 13th. There's different tables and packages. There's early tickets now. Um, women 25, gentlemen 35. And we will have some just here. Yeah. <laughs> Good old time. We will Good pool there's, party. There's some, there's some things going on. It's, please just, just, just come, come follow me and check it out. I'm telling you, you, you're not going to be disappointed. You're, you're not. You been to a pool party like those types? Of pool yeah, pool it's parties so, are lit, B. I, I mean, yeah, I've been, we, been on a rub, bigger rugby ducky going wild and yeah. yeah, doing all types of wild stuff, B. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rubber ducky. Hey. I got the video to prove it. Look, I'll pull it up, man. You don't even know. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> I'm, trust me. I, I don't think you'd have said that for nothing. So I totally believe you. Ain't too many people out here, you know, admitting they was on the duck. So I'm just saying. Hey, look. But no, I, that, but I see you like to have fun. So mm. that, 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 yeah. That's what life's about. You got to have fun. When I you, can't stand you. when when women and or men go to parties, especially poop or place, mm-hmm. and just stay and I just want to post up yeah. and just look cool and cute. Like, we come to have fun, <sighs> Smile, laugh, because you might not be able to do that after, when you leave there or, or the next day. Some exactly. like stuff has changed. Like yeah, this, like so the environment of like enjoy. going out. Yes, yes, it's changed. What did you come here for? To stay in there? Yeah, and like people look cool. It's like back in the day, people really enjoyed each other, and like things has definitely yeah. changed. Yeah. Like, yes. like instead of like actually interacting and actually, you know, wanting conversation, it's like frowned upon mm. i don't know but no, hopefully for the future people you know enjoy the importance of dancing dance is important man that's how mating calls that's a lot of stuff that's just the foundation of things you know what i'm saying you hear me i hear you we got carmen kush we got uh, uh traveling ass nigga ping pong poppy bow 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 popping man man on the boards princess amunda now let's get to uh let's go to dmv news all right DMV news, you know, a bunch of stuff you want your opinion on, just things you see on the DMV that hit the news, okay? But first it was, um, I want to speak on Traveling Ass Nigga. You went to uh, Baltimore Carnival? Yeah, yeah! Hey, yo, yo! <laughs> Guess <laughs> what? Speaking about dancing and stuff like that, oh yeah, Baltimore was lit. They was dancing, having a nice time, having fun. No, I I mean, I heard a couple yeah, of old... That's all they hey, do down there. Hey, look, it was good to see a truck it's good that people go play mods, play paint, all type of thing. It's supposed to jam. You're supposed to jam. You understand? That's what I'm saying. But for real, for real, it was real good, real good. People was really actually just dancing, wind up on the truck, wind up on the truck, staying the new Strangers. tunes. Yeah, just nice having fun. Just people I ain't seen in a long time. Just bust out wine one time. You know what I'm saying? That's it, B. Just enjoy what you can enjoy, you know? It was a good little time. It, was, it made me like 
feel good that like, you know, I think things are rejuvenating, coming back to, you know, the Caribbean vibes and like people actually going outside and, you know, having a fun time. But, you know, we were talking about earlier. Yeah, dancing is like, people like be making fun of like black people, but <laughs> dancing is actually make us live longer. Amen. Movement, movement. Exactly. And you, y'all, you brought up like uh, what's what's missing is people just not dancing and just talking. That's why I was surprised at your uh, the carnival. Like people were just like, it was good, man. It was fun. You wind in, wind in. Yeah, yo, you wow. You, uh, you been to one of those? What carnival? Carnival. You know, no. you, you gotta wear the the outfit. No. You don't do that. I mean, I would love to go to one. I just have not been to one. You but, should um, try one. You should try one. I, you know, next year try Baltimore. Start, you know, baby steps like that. You know, start from, and then you you may enjoy. Then you may be like, hey, I may go to the Miami joint. Then from that, hey, let me go to the I Trinidad mean, yeah, joint. I'll probably go to all of them. Hey, the Carabana joint about to come out too. Miami it's about to be lit. Trinidad. If I'd known about Baltimore, I would have went. I didn't know. I didn't know until he. I looked at the list and I'm like, oh, let me look at. Oh, that was. Oh. Happened there, mm. so yeah, I would have, I would have gone. Especially Juve, Juve was really like lit, man. People yeah. were so it's the party, be, it's the morning party before the party. That's what the party is. Oh. <laughs> it's the, so you, you wake up early, early. It's drink, people just drink in Trinidad, punching all type of different liquors and type of stuff. But you get lit and you just go over there and just jam, just jam, play, put mud on yourself, paint. This all type of thing and just whine and dance and just, just you know, just be jolly, be. That's what it's about, man. Be jolly. Be but jolly, at, man. And night, you guys are like wrestling each, each other, like jumping <laughs> off the top of the bang and just slamming them. Hey, them. yo, back, look, look, that's our brethren from Jamaica, B. You know what I'm saying? But you know, hey, whining is whining. You ain't enjoying yourself, you enjoying yourself. Oh, well, look, 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 look who decide to come. Look at who decide to come. Look who decide to come. Uh huh. <laughs> the Jamaican people when they be dancing, why are they so aggressive? Hey, they're showing they, they, they love me. They have pelvic problems. No. <laughs> Hip problems. Like, why are they so aggressive? You tell them. You, you ever dance with Jamaican? Like, I love Jamaica. Hey. Plenty of, that's like the second home. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm not Jamaican, so I don't know why, but I don't find it like a problem. It's. it's well, just you know, the wine, yeah. right? I think they were made to do they that. Breaking tables like, and shit. Yeah. Forget. <laughs> Okay. I, don't want to, well, I just want to stand on the wall. You grind on me. Well, I don't know what type of Jamaicans you've been around. They ain't, they ain't I, doing all that. With, I saw too many videos. Okay. Speaking of a traveling ass, we went to Jamaica. They don't take it over the top yeah. and do, you know, that was for the camera. That was okay. for the video. Like, in person, they 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 are, you know, but not, oh, they not, no. Okay. Oh, well, I hope not. I haven't, I don't know. I haven't seen it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to get that turned up where they breaking the tables and right. shit. <laughs> All right, next DMV news. Okay, um, let's talk about how let's talk about the DMV version of David and Goliath, um, the Mochella and Coachella. Coachella, they're they're gonna like sue. Uh, go ahead, sit down, brother. Look, look who decided to come. What's up, man? What's going on, King Ron? What's up? What's going on, big dog? How you? Look, look, you know. Hey, Hey, he decided to come number 10. He was like, he can't be number 10. Can't be number one. We were 31 and the weather was fucking cold. What are you talking about? Hey, man, man, can you uh, check the cameras? Make sure we're good. Make sure they see my face. Ooh. All right. It's important. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Hey. All right, next DMV News. Welcome, brother. How, we How you doing, brother? What's going on, big Anybody dog? Anybody Greenbelt got hurt that you know? From the storm, the DMV storm, you know. No, I had to clean up my parents' backyard. My parents, they live not too far from Greenbelt. A tree, their neighbor's tree fell, so a lot of stuff was in their backyard. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. I'm right across problems. Okay. Um, let's go to it. The Mochella, the, let's see. Hi, I'm Carmen. Carmen, Champagne, Ethiopian. He's Ethiopian, he's Trinidadian. <laughs> you know, I'm just joking. Dang. All right. So uh, the, the lawyers for Coachella, they argued that the DC musical activists are infringing, infringing on their trademark because they had a trademark on Coachella, Coach and Cella. So oh, um, are you yeah, and um, you know how Mochella, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, started yeah. from the activists and it's free and it's easy and accessible and they got it off Coachella and you know, basically 
they trying to get them for uh they gonna file the trademark. He, no, the dude tried to file a trademark for Mochella, but the Coachella people found out. They said, nah, we're gonna fuck up your application. So we can't have nothing good, bro. What do you think they're gonna change the name to? What do you think they're gonna change the cause you know damn well they're gonna have to change the name from Mochella to to Ja like Jachella. <laughs> Jachella. No, Jachella. Look at that. Jachella. There can't be no Chella. No That's chella. the issue. So it can't no be Jachella. The Chella is the problem. That they is, you're right. Mo. They don't want him to have Chella. Nah, you're right, though. But, like, I understand. That's so ignorant. Like, it, that, is Let some, that is some ignorant shit right there. Like, it, it really is not that goddamn serious Uh-oh. where you he can't have a name. Like, like <laughs> that's almost... Is ignorant is, I mean, that's just ignorant as fuck. I'm sorry. I, I, when I came up, when you sent me the, the list of what we were going to discuss and I looked into that, I, I could not believe. And I work for the patent and trademark office. So exactly. I do IT for them. So, yeah. Okay, you, you so, so trademark is definitely changing though, because people, they don't even give a fuck no more. People are just people taking just ripping people just off, taking right? that shit off. Okay. And so that's what's kind of going. But what it does is, if you think about it, well, is that it makes the market right? more competitive. So I don't know why, why Coachella's. Why collaborate? Yeah, why I mean, it's, it's just making and, your brand and make it bigger. bigger. Put both of them together and make mm-hmm. it bigger shit. Right. Like, why don't you, you just collect? Like, why do you have to look at it like a fight? Like, oh, he trying to take my. Oh, nah. Maybe, I mean, I know they probably see the success in, that Coachella had or is having. But I would look at that like, oh no, nah, let's partner up and make it like figure out a way money to the next level instead they, of fighting it. Because they're not trying to partner up with niggas. They they don't they don't have <laughs> no, they're not, and not, that, I, they're they're not like the Rock Nation and and uh and, and you know meet I with it. You know they, they just that. they want to argue and fight about the stuff. They they they're saying that the um the Mochella they can conf- people can confuse that with they might think it's like associated, yeah. so. Nobody would confuse. They're two total different. Like no, it would be no fucking confusion. They just want to be ignorant about it. Like they would. It would. I don't even want to get frustrated. Ja so Mo. yeah. Fuck I'll, them. Call that joint the Ja Mo B. Ja Mo. Ja Mo. <laughs> the Ja Mo joint. Ja Mo. Ja Mo. The most gentrified name. It's gonna be called like Capital City Festival. Oh yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Like, Two years no, later. Hey no. guys, bring your white sauce to your. <laughs> oh, I agree. I I so you agree. I right really do that. agree that that's so cool. dry. Yeah. It's gonna be the whitest no, name you can think of. I'm with you. Okay. Next DMV news. Uh, what's what's also very ignorant is uh this fight at the Addison Road Popeyes. Hey Slim. Um we all have gotten into it with our co-workers. Hell yeah, for sure. Um but when do you think it's appropriate to actually like let it out in front but of why you first at work? Of all, the dude that was recording it, he wanted his food. Like I would have been mad as shit if I'm waiting for my food and Especially they back Popeyes. there. Yes, like dog, hold up, I want my biscuit. What the fuck is <laughs> going on? You don't hurry up and feed me that greasy goodness. <laughs> Yeah. That's true. Right. That greasy goodness. I need that in my life right now. Potatoes. And she was ready. She was she like, was come more. on. Hello. Let's go. Look. Come but on. I want to know what it was about. What the fuck happened? Did she get... Who knows? Apron and on. Somebody. Apron on. Like, <laughs> I'm just ready to put this... Five piece in there. <laughs> exactly. Look, man, they, they exactly. And they gonna still fuck up your order. I, <laughs> be back, give me extra biscuit though. She, she was outside. Like, I wanted the preservatives joint. Don't give me no regular jam the joint. Motherfucking real two pieces outside. <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 the real two pieces outside. Bring your ass up. Hey, go ahead. <laughs> oh man. Have y'all, have y'all ever seen this type of um, no, professionalism I'm mad in, around this area? No. I've seen people. Call yeah, them I've out. seen it. I've seen it several times. I've always seen it online. I've never seen it in person. I've never been inside of a, a, a Popeyes or McDonald's or Chick Fil A or it's seen none of that. No, no. Man. You mean post COVID or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 cause I'm like, you living in this area. You got something got to go down. You got to see somebody. Got somebody, got somebody. Like this? No, I've seen yes some bullshit kick off, or pop, but to that extent, or 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 or. or Workers, no. I've seen uh, customers get into it or shit like that, but employees, no. I, I have not. I've never seen that. Man. And it was like a, it was an older, older woman and a younger woman. So what they? Duh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Duh. Oh. That's just how it goes. Mm. 
No. Just a dynamic. Anybody worked at Popeyes before? I worked at Popeyes for one day and I quit because Damn, my man. pants, my ass was sweating too much. I didn't even go back to get my check. Damn, you ain't love that chicken at Popeyes. <laughs> this guy wasn't that for it. Ready. Hold on, hold on. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> you you just hit that like you did you the you song love for the commercial, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna oh. your voice on that. Next AMB news. Uh, we got <laughs> the African American Museum that's in DC. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have y'all been there, yes or no? Yeah? Of course. Yes. All right. So August 13th, they're having a yeah. uh, they're hosting a free block party to celebrate the I'm history of hip hop. And rap. Hey. She was going to be twerking on the National Mall? No, I said no, I'm going to be twerking in the pool on August 13th, oh, so okay. I won't be there, but that's okay. dope. That's, that's, that's dope. Oh, that's I like this. Yeah. It's, yeah. A good, it's a great thing. Good for yeah. commerce, people, for children to understand, you know, yeah. learning, all about that. People be booking tickets, you know, political stuff going on, all types mm -hmm. of things going on. That's going to be good for the culture. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah, let's go. Dope. That's dope. That's really dope. Celebrating the genre of music, I, well, the youngest genre of music, but another genre of music that we created, and that's that's you got to give them all an, an, an applause for that because they took blues, they took rock and roll, hip hip hop is all we got left. <laughs> Man, <laughs> well, we barely got that. But what y'all think uh, about that? Hip hop the... turns forty nine on the eleventh. Yeah, forty nine. The youngest yeah. music genre, like, came a long way from. Broken glass everywhere. <laughs> what did the pilot think of? Make me want to. This guy. Uh -huh. This guy. Oh it makes me wonder how I keep from going under. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you think that Popeyes, you know? Oh my anyway, God. my problem. My problem with this is what? I've been to the museum. Uh, Why is the entertainment and the sports a bigger section from the slavery? Ooh. Um. In, I didn't think the in, inventors. Why I don't want to go to another black party for this museum. I need to see. They need to do a, a reparations celebration black party or <laughs> like a sojourner truth uh, black that. party. Why hip hop? What are they gonna do? Man, I don't want to see nobody break dancing. Have you actually <laughs> gone from the bottom to the, all the way to the top? I saw a big ass Thomas Jefferson statue in there. Why is Thomas yeah. Jefferson in there? Uh, yes, but ha I've been from the bottom to the top. Yes, Dang, he just he just hit my question with another question, but I'm like, all right, brother, <laughs> yeah. go ahead. Yeah. What do you think about it? Did you like it? I think it's a great. Did you learn anything? Of course, you learn things. You understand a lot of stuff, and also too, it's just good to see people that we looked up to, and it's actually in the museum, bro. I mean, I'm not gonna say, hey, everything's gonna be perfect, bro, but at least we have some time stamp right there. Look, it was built. It's right near the heart of DC. I mean, that's pretty big. I mean, I'm not trying to say everything's perfect, of course, but they're celebrating hip hop. Let us celebrate hip hop, man. Let's get our celebration when we can get it, man. That's why I can I guess, say, baby. I guess the, they're doing it because it's about to be, did you say 40? 49, 49 years. On 11, August 11. Well, I said August, though. Oh, I guess. Yeah, because the, <laughs> okay. yeah, the birthday. Keep up with me, man. Keep up. Bob's birthday is August 11th, 1973. Okay. Is that the first song or something? It is. Yeah, it is 73. Oh. Did you take Trey to the museum? I haven't yet. I haven't. Don't take him. Oh, you ain't shit. Right. <laughs> Anything else on that? All right. No. That was the end of DMV. Oh, make sure y'all go vote. Voting is so, so, so. Uh, early. Stop. Voting already ended, but... Psst. It's starting in Maryland. Yeah. Make sure you show you know your voice. Don't just complain. Do something. At least you get hey, you did, at least you did something. Yes. <laughs> That's all I can say. And look to see who's actually their policies. There's somebody exactly. could be fighting for um rent control because rent's going up. Like you need to find out who's your representative. Who's fighting for you? Oh, and all because they black don't mean they got your agenda. Exactly. Hey man, that inflation exactly. going up nine percent, bro. That joint is for real, for real, bro. Look. They, yo, they really trying to run people up out of here, y'all. Y'all better make sure y'all get your money together. Man. For real, for real. And go get your guns before Hogan uh, changes mind. Hey, yo. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he, changed, he changed that. But he, he said they're going to, they make it easier for you to get guns, right? Exactly. That's why I said. Go get y'all guns before, 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 before they change changes mind. mind. Before change mind. Yeah. He's like, hold on, there's too many niggas getting guns. Like, yeah, hey. Mind, <laughs> Look, this is one of the best areas. You see people moving in this area. Don't be acting crazy. You better get stuff together. Get your money together Inflation, if you don't. They got the weed prices going up. Um, what? Why is weed prices going up? Everything going and up. And 
what's your type? What's your favorite weed? And have you noticed that the price going up? The one that gets me high, and uh, yes, <laughs> I noticed that. But I come from the era of going to get dubbed and shit like you that. Hey, yeah, yeah, four dubs. days out of dub and shit like that. Yeah. So three, yeah. three, <laughs> three, when you get in the three point five, you get in barely three J's or two J's out of three point five. And you gotta pay seven, damn near seventy dollars for that. So I, yeah, we, we fuck gas. This gas <laughs> went up. This, this, this the gas I'm worried about. Fuck Exxon. I, I'm talking about Indica <laughs> and all of them. But honestly, that's the reason why gas prices. I mean, why the price of weed is going up? Cause gas prices is going up. I'm not about to drive all the way to motherfucking Laurel <laughs> and for, 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 for fifty dollars. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 oh, shit, yeah, people be putting delivery scared. prices on their joint, B. They be like, hey, I'm if you want delivery, you gotta pay for that too, B. I'm fucking Fuck dead. you, nigga. This ain't 45 no more, nigga. You gotta be fucked up. Oh my god. What's the price? Up. Guys, I've been struggling. I've been smoking smoking shake. Oh shit. Ever since ever since <laughs> Ukraine, Russia hit Ukraine. I oh just, shit. I just been smoking ground. Oh shit. 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 So please. Hey, Inflation is hit his J. It's hurting us. His J is 90% of whatever it is. Busting roaches. Bussing ro I'm putting everything together. Busting uh, roaches. That's, that's, it's fucked up out here. J's. My tolerance yeah, went down, so just pray for me. That's all. Oh, man. Carmen, oh, uh, one of our guests, our female guests before, said that they don't like smoking. They don't like uh, high sex. Do you like high sex? For me, you know, it ain't bad. You know, it's better than drinking. I'm I don't know what's wrong with it. So yeah, I like it. I mean, I don't. Does I, it make the experience different? I would imagine that if I wasn't high, I wouldn't like it. I don't know. I mean, I've had unhigh sex, but I'm usually high, so it's been a very long time. <laughs> like I started fucking and I wasn't smoking, so. But I don't. Since I have been a smoker, I'm when I open my eyes, I'm hitting a J. Like I'm before I put the dick in my mouth, I'm putting a J in it. So, um, <laughs> that's two J's. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Johnson, that's two J's. Do you, are you guys keeping the arithmetic? You gotta count two J's. Hey yo. I wish I could. That, I wish I could. I wish I could hit her from the back with a J, but I can't do that. But hold on, then you check her brand out. Remember that now. The, you see, if you hit it from the back, you see her brand. See, you got, you got to keep up with me, man. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Buzz. Okay. She got her brand tattoo, which is very oh, brave. Oh, yeah. oh. And that's good. She believes in herself. You feel me? Yeah. Um, yeah, this is better than alcohol and sex. I, I just feel like a murderer. I'm just. I'm just plowing through there, just busting through. But the weed, I can feel the shit. High sex is definitely better than, than drunk sex. Like, high sex, you feel every tingle in your shoulder. You're like, God damn, this shit just, what, did you just touch me? Yeah. Like, 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 everything, like, you feel everything. Sexual. Like, every tingle. Sensual, your, man. Toes, like, for real. Even, like, when you, when you just high, period, you feel every mm. tingle. So, mm. imagine when you fucking. Mm. Shit, and also, do you last long with the J, too? I'm like, hey, I'm. Oh, you are. <laughs> Get the team. Do that. Do that one more time. Now, whenever a, a man is fucking, <laughs> oh, no way. whenever, uh, whenever those shoulders hunch, <laughs> it's go time. Uh, Get the team. Pops, you miss you, B. <laughs> oh my god. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. All right. So, all right. So you, you. All right. Do you smoke papers or do you smoke blunts? I'm still on oh. backwoods. You still on backwoods? Oh. DMV for real, for real. For sure, for sure. Hey. Try, you know, they, you know they, they, they trying to convert people over, you know. I mean, this season on my show, I'm going to have one of my guests, or I'm going to ask my guests, all of my sheets and funnel guests to teach me how to roll sheets and funnel. My mouth is too wet for sheets. It hmm. rips them, so I don't have time for that. I'm still on brown, big brown things, so. Hey! Um, I roll backwards. I don't. Uh, I tried to do sheets. It's, it's pointless. So I just stick with veins and everything. My, huh? Yeah, I stay in my. I stay in my lane. I don't Man. like little white things. So um, 
Tremendous. All right. But you know, I heard you do with the funny. Like, see, the young mofos, right? Once in a while, I would hit a J. The young mofos, they hit it with the, you know, sheets and funnel, and they be all right sometimes. But and I smoke them with those who do. Like, if I'm in a, in a, in a but I, in I still, right, I still roll backwards. And if they want to smoke with me, they gonna hit that with me. If otherwise, get the fuck on. Like, hey, yo, you a real one. She's like, hey, yo, you ain't my J. All right, get them off here, bro. Tripping. <laughs> I ain't gonna beg you like it is what it is. But they so came from that. Like these are the same people I used to hit backwards. I know. And all of a sudden everybody all sheets and funnel. They don't even hit backwards. And we're like, dog, get the come on. Hey, yo, stop playing and with then me, as yo. soon as they run out of funnel, they asking me for scraps in my back. Hey, yo, nah, so, nah. So you don't hit backwards, but you'll you'll burn it up and break it down. Oh, you know? okay. Oh, okay, That's exactly. Different. Yeah, no, it ain't. It's the That's same bro. shit. My, well, then my the funnel on the outside. I don't need no sheets. My, I'm just funnel and and and, and tree. That's okay. then I that is All right, but if someone hands you, offers you uh, a J, papers with no funnel, just weed in it, are you you gonna smoke it? I, I, again, it's I, naked. Because some, yeah, some, some. I I'll, I, I'll partake in 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 those circles. I just cannot roll them. I, if I could roll a sheet, I probably would be on sheets and funnel at this point. But I I I try, and I'm not gonna keep sitting here going through papers trying to get high. Like <laughs> I'm about to roll this backward and and yeah, inhale, exhale. So the so. thing about that is. Naked J's. If you have a naked J, I'm cool with that. it has to be some fire. Yeah, yeah. If I it's agree. some fucking, huh? I agree. Oh, no. Slim, the shit is over, Pete. I agree. It has to, just like People, a woman, yeah. if it's naked, it better be looking good. You holler at me. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? I, I didn't think about it like that. She okay. better be. No, naked, it gotta be right. Though. Gotta, gotta be, right. be right. All right. If not, put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Go ahead. Put the phone on top on. Sure. All right. <laughs> Let's go to shit I see on my timeline. We got uh, Just Get a Pop and we got hey. Carmen Kush. We got 301 King Ron, Princess Amunda, Ish Talk TV. I just had five gummies. Hey. Hey. Um, oh, make sure you go check out our YouTube. Give us a like and a comment, all right? Let's go to Shasty on my timeline. A bunch of memes and videos. I want y'all opinion, okay? And if you okay? want one of those gummies, hit us up at Ish Brownies. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. Instagram now. at Ish Brownies. All right. Thank you for that. Thank you for that, brother. For sure. For um, sure. There's this viral thing going on around... Do uh, you have kids? I have a son. All right. So, you know, you tell, you tell them what that is. The, the prank of the kids. The parent is going oh, to Oh, yeah. So, look. So, you... You go to your baby and you like, yo, like I would say, hey Trey, it's this it's this nigga outside, he trying to fight me. He got a son with him. His 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 son is eight just like you. You might have to fight his son, Trey. Go ahead, put your shoes on. Let's go. And you gonna see what type of energy your child has. Oh, that on the news today. It's kids, it's kids out here like I right. and they just putting their shoes yes, on and they, they and they and they ready to work and it's kids out here that's like fuck why, no. why we gotta why? fight. Oh I yeah, I saw that on the news today. That was hilarious. Oh. That was hilarious. I wish my dad would have came and got me and be like, all right, come on, Ronald, it's time to fight. And I was like, no, nah, dad, I don't want to fight nobody. <laughs> Man, I would have got my ass Rock. 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 I would have got my ass. Oh, oh shit! I don't even know my dad in, but I just know that he would have walked my ass if I didn't even do that shit. I was like, "Hey, what? Who's outside?" <laughs> we don't start nothing, but we ain't ducking a damn thing. Hey, Amen. I hear that. <laughs> like, for real. Would you? What you think about that? Did you, when you saw it, like when you, you thought it was cute, funny? It definitely was hilarious. It, it was funny. Um, I mean, in the in the very in the different situations, I understood why each kid did or, or didn't do what they did or didn't do. So it was it was it showed a lot. This was it was I really that was a dope 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 idea. Like I really I'm glad they Just did see that. the reaction. Yeah. Are you for more for the kids that was ready to for war, or are you for the kids that was? No, we should not fight. We target. Um. I was here for both, and I'll say that because it could have been if I if this was a real. I know this was just an act, but if this was a real situation, it, de it would really depend on the situation. It really would. It would depend on if the situation really called for some fists to happen, mm -hmm. and the fact that they would that the parent even encouraged it to be fists because these days they trying everything got is going oh, here. So the yeah. fact that they even still wanted to keep it there, that that alone said spoke volumes. Because we're in an era where we ain't doing too much of this no more. Nah, so, that's true. 
that alone, but then for the kids who didn't or wasn't, I'm 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 okay with that. Don't force your child mm-hmm. to do exactly. or be about some shit that you still about that you should have been growing up off of because you shouldn't be trying to have your kids with it. But for those who will have their their parents back and won't see them out there mm-hmm. fucked up, you know, I'm with some, I'm I'm with both. See, but I'm just glad they were still in fighting and they ain't like, man, go get the nine. We about to go and then. No, no, I feel you. I'm, you keep so keep it within content. I saw yes. people in the comments like, oh, why would you want your kid fighting? Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's not about wanting your kid to fight because it's, there's isn't really nobody outside. It's just a prank. Right. And it's, it's like, just I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying, trying, trying to see my kid's reaction because I know, I know my son, like, he's not a tough guy at all. So it was just like, he was just like, what? Like, see, <laughs> but this, like, is like, this is a real funny thing, though. This is the real funny thing, though, right? So, like, ladies, with particularly when they were with a guy, mm-hmm. they were wanting to have at least a guy that protect them, correct? Like, yeah. I mean, but then if he's a guy that he's like, he starts stuttering stuff, and you're like, then you're like, yo, nigga, you ain't about shit, blah, blah, blah. So, what is this it's supposed to be? Oh, no, 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 no. Because it, it, it has child. to be. When it's your child, that's different from. That isn't from a true, from your child, but also, yeah. too, just like what you're saying, if a child is learning something from a small age. Mm. So like you supposed to protect your mom exactly like if you don't protect your mom blah 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 but then if you don't protect him then he's a yes nigga there so right. so it's like right. what is the like though we talk about hey Double it could be different yeah it's like now, when they, do you do it when do you not do if, it if they it's, start that challenge with women going up to their man like hey baby it's, it's this man outside he he woo woo it better be a hundred percent. Oh no, that's see, see that see that's why you, that's one thing. I don't, that's not no damn games, no, bro. No, 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 no. no. But I feel I'm you though. Saying, I'm not saying 100 percent like go fight. I'm saying 100 percent as in like because if my lady came to me and was like, "Yo, Ron, this 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 nigga just like slapped me outside." Ooh. No jokes, no pranks. Yeah. That's not funny. Yeah. Cause you putting the nigga on demon time. <laughs> right, <laughs> like but, these are no longer jokes. But you don't think it's like parenting is like more important, like like nurturing. But anyway, someone said the prank of parents telling their kids they need to t- tell they need them to fight is not funny. It's showing me a lot of how people parent. You know, it's also sad to see some of these kids get really anxious about being pressured into the <laughs> act of violence. Hmm. Maybe one video of one kid crying. <laughs> no, it was it was this one little boy. Where like he he grabbed his dad's shirt like a baby. He was like, Dad, I don't want to go fight. I'm going to get beat up. And I was mm. like, and like his dad was laughing and his mom was laughing. It was like, yo, like you really just scared that kid. Like, See? you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we have Trey in karate and Trey in boxing. So Trey knows how to defend himself. Like when Trey gets in trouble, it's usually before fighting. But Trey doesn't like to fight. Right. So and that's like, how it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, be prepared to but, fight, right, but, but don't, don't be fighting. Yes. Right. Yeah. Would you, you, exactly. would you tell your son to, like, you, you have him in karate or something? <laughs> no. Man, Cobra Kai, nigga. You better stop playing with me, right. dog. Like, <laughs> in our buildings. No, I don't. He's not. Yo, this nigga, what? This is the fuck we trade this fight. Uh, this nigga. Negative. What's negative. wrong with him? Uh, no. My son is 20, and, um,. Oh, he'll shoot up a nigga for real, for real. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Man, yeah, for yeah. real. <laughs> Thanks, Hogan. <laughs> you know what? My bad, go ahead. Be there, your son. No, I. <laughs> He's, he stays away from those types of situations or environments, but if he was in that environment, well, he would he would be prepared to. But you told him, like, you better protect your mother. When you oh, and he ain't got to do that, baby. Okay. I got myself. Ooh. <laughs> but, Mama ain't playing. When we... But in, in the event in the event that him he and I were out and something came up and a he dude ready. tried that he's yeah. ready. I'm ready. I probably would back be backing him down and be trying to, because I'm, again, but... Cause that's my I'm trying I'm a mother I'm going to want to protect my baby but mm-hmm. as a man he is going to want to protect me so mm-hmm. yes he's sure. ready yeah yeah watch how you you what you say and what you do around your sons because they definitely will copy everything mm-hmm. and if you don't have a dad you saw that video of the um, the kid that was uh, the little four year old babies mm-hmm. in the street butt naked oh yeah, with yeah, the, yeah, yeah kicking the cops like where are the parents at? Yeah, like for real that was and, the, and, the, and lot, the kids though. was joining on the on the cops right. that was crazy but like. Oh, no, but my number one question. Why is that nigga out there with jeans and no underwear? <laughs> Y'all not see this nigga? 
That's ratchet. Yeah, like, that's come the type on, of bro. Ghetto the kids. Shit like, that's, that's, that's they, just they, they, But they encourage that type of shit. They be, they're, they misguided. They misguided. The parent, like you said, where's the parent? The parents should have been. He ain't got no get, shoes on. In my either. day, my grandparents or my been whipping that ass. Or my all, dad, all ass. Whatever house no I was at, or with my like, yes, I would have been getting my ass beat. All that Hell ass whipping. Like this. we not, they not rocking like that Hell at yeah. all. That'd have been like a thousand points of ass whipping. Like, but, yo, <laughs> not a thousand points. Of ass yo, it'd have been no real. talking, just ass whipping. <laughs> That is so You're like that's it, ignorant as fuck. Yeah, and that's not and see not showing fear. That's kind of dangerous because at that age. At that yeah. Not so showing fear. Ten that's, years from yeah. now, when, exactly. when he really yes. Man, I've been having the police because, ever since I was four years old, bro. That's literally you can find. Yeah, bro. That's all he's probably <laughs> seen. So he 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 doesn't see the wrong in that because right. that's what what's been advertised in front of him. When Crazy. he comes outside of that neighborhood, that's when he see the mm -hmm. the, the, the dudes. Doing that, doing that, doing that in front of him. So he think that's what he's supposed to do. Nice. At that age, they're still mimicking what they see. Mm -hmm. So the, he, that's been, yeah. That's Once again, point. people learn from example. So when you see that, mm -hmm. thank you. And when people see that, and also too, other people looking at this video, seeing young folks not young black men, yes, young black boys. not responding thank to you. any authority exactly. is not a good right. look. That's just, and, and what if the what if the cop actually like arrest the kid and then they show the video of the kid getting then they arrested? Go, right, then they're gonna make gonna it. Be, thank you. You want to handcuff a little kid? Exactly. Like, exactly. He's just spitting on me. Exactly. exactly. Right. I'm, gonna make, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't rob me. Nah, it's that love. I believe in a little right. discipline. <laughs> Discipline's okay. Sooner you're gonna rob me. Okay. All right. Next uh, shot I see on my timeline. Very sad. You went to. France, Paris, niggas in Paris, you helped out a woman from getting attacked. She was getting whipped, right? That is true. And, and that today, guess what, by the way? I got the little belt right here just in case the, the, ain't believe me. I got the Gucci belt, you hear me? That's Holla at me. Yeah, that's the belt right here. You think I'm playing, bro? Oh, wow. Come on, so, dog. So not only did he snatch that nigga, that <laughs> yo, took the nigga. Hey, yo, dog. Yeah. He got kicked out from doing all that wild shit. One woman said, hey, yo, Slim. Damn. You forgot your belt, B? Damn. No, you took it. Hey, dog, this right here. Guess what? Ho, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> you, Just you was acting wild in the, real out real. of the country. A lot of brothers cannot be doing that because they might not come back. Yeah. So even here, let's go to when you try to help out someone, you end up getting killed. Mm, um, that is true. Cobb County, ATL, very sad when you try to help out somebody. A man intervened. End up in a domestic dispute at the gas station. Dude tried to help out. He saw a woman getting hit. The dude end up shooting the man. Hmm. And the lady in leaves with the boyfriend. So the dude just got killed for no damn reason. He just minding his business. So that's same thing happened to me. That's exactly time, what happened. But I saw someone, a woman getting like yelled at, and I tried to like defuse the situation. I'm like, hey, what's up? And the dude got in my face. I'm like, okay, you got it. He had tattoos on his neck. I'm not messing with nobody with dreads with a tattoo on their neck. I left don't get in relationships. But, don't. All right, That's Ron, don't. My bad. Ron, so what do you think about what do you think about people doing that, man? As far as what? What's that too? Like intervening. The, the, the story and in, intervening. Mm -hmm. So see, are you, are you texting Putin or something? No, 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 no. I was trying to slide up to because I just really just had this conversation with with my parents because about what? I'm I'm an intervener. You know what I'm saying? And I've, it's like, it's been documented from like, it was times that my brother told me to leave that shit alone and I stepped in. And it was times that my sister told me to leave that shit alone. It was times my sister's had it's things that, that, that they went through and I stepped in. But it's like, that's just, that's just me. And my dad always, t my dad always be like, yo, chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a big heart, you have a good heart. Yeah. You be fucked up one of these days. Yeah. But in my mind. Good guy like, finished last, B. Like, though, I'm not going to let. Cause I'm, I don't want to see nobody. I don't want my sis, none of my sisters, none, neither one of my mothers, none of my cousins, none of my aunties getting hit upside the head and a man just seeing it and walking away. Mm. That shit is crazy to me. No, okay. So you can't, you be thinking about it. You can't get it out your mind like you just left. Yeah, it's like damn. I don't know what what happened to that girl. Like, cause it was we was on U Street. It was it was me and my brother. Woo woo woo. A dude was like yelling at his girl, calling her all types of bitches, mushing her, which was cool. Well, it, it wasn't cool, but I could deal with that. Right. But then he just, boom, 
Oh, no, no, no. And that's when it was like, yo, when we ran over there, I was like, man, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like, 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 you know, like, once I said, even though Corey, like, chill, Corey's still going to go, because go, I'm going. So he's like, yo, so dude. And, like, that was, like, yeah, like, everything happened. But it was like, yo, I'm not just going to let no woman just get beat. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? I can't. Like, no, nah, that's crazy to me. But also, you got to go home, too, though, Slim. You got to go home. Because, look, if you get an altercation outside and you were protecting someone that's just... You just was protecting just out of good, yeah. and you and little Trey can't see you. That's gonna be tough. You uh -huh. feel me? Like you know what I'm saying. So one thing I used to do, I used to do that all the time, Slim. Yeah. You don't even Trust know, me. bro. I, I know I'm you. always I in the middle. Did. I'm like, yo, because protecting bands. Like, look, let's not do the kumbaya, all money. But bro, there's just too many guns out here right now, Slim. No, for sure. That's it, for real. For, all I can say is give a verbal warning. Hey, hey, hi, stop that. hey. Who said that? Hey, <laughs> that's what, stop that. All right, come on now, you prove your point, man. You, <laughs> hey, come on now, you prove your point. That's enough, man. She's leaking. <laughs> I, 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 I think she's gonna get up, Doc. Go ahead. Oh my god. I, I don't think she's gonna fight no more. I, don't y'all ignore it. It's like <laughs> have you have you seen anything oh, like man. that? Like and like what would you do? Like blow the horn? <laughs> How do you stop I, fights? You stop? I've never seen anybody like in the public, but I've been in the presence of some domestic situations. I used to stay in a household where that happened and it was uh <laughs> I was young. I was only about eleven or twelve when um it was going on, and it was it was it was mind blowing. Like I I never I thought that I, that shit only happened on TV mm -hmm. or things like that on like soap operas and, and shit. So to see the person that was doing it and who it was being done to, that was overwhelming. And um I was too young to really intervene, but you know when she would get away. I would try to go and console and, and help her get herself together, but she wouldn't leave him. Like, so mm. it's like. <laughs> Doug love. For a man, for a person to want to intervene. And like you said, the lady left with the guy, with the guy mm -hmm. to have witnessed for the years that I did in the household that I stayed in and saw that she, she would go through that and stay like, what is the point of somebody risking their life and their health for somebody who don't give a fuck about theirs? Like, I give more of a fuck about your life than you do because you yeah. want to keep I'm staying cool. and yeah. taking it and risking yours. Now yeah. I'm risking mine That's deep. so that you can stay and keep risking yours. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's all about chess. So basically, people yeah. be thinking that, like, there's no piece that need to be sacrificed. Guess what? That's why it's called pawns. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, you better pay attention to what you're doing. Yeah, some women right. just think they damaged and they can't leave because they, they invest right, so much, so much right. time. And that's mm -hmm. what it was for. I mean, eventually she did end up, leave, but it was like that was that was her issue that she had invested. Like, uh, no, he going to no, I'm a, he said he going to change. Gonna change. Ex no, exactly. He's gonna be punching exactly. you in 2040. I'm just glad she survived. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, she's dog. <laughs> Guys, you never know. Like, if you see that shit happen in real life at the gas station. Let it happen. Mind your business. It could be a transgender. It, that, you know, it, that could be just two men what? going at it. Okay? It you don't know what's going on now. They got guns. Leave them two apples alone. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. I'm That's done. Next chassis on my timeline. <laughs> next chassis on my timeline. We got 10 more minutes. We got oh, Just Get a Poppin'. We got Carmen Kush, 301 King Ron in the house. All right. Let's get to um, Meek Mill. He uh, parted ways with Rock Nation, uh, MMG, Atlantic, um, which is basically one of the biggest, especially Rock Nation. Yeah. He said he, he invested, you know, they robbed him from some money, and it's time not, for him to... Not Rock Nation. Not Rock Nation, Atlantic. A A Atlantic Rock Nation. And they held some money, they didn't allow, allow him to do, like, festivals and shit like that. But um, what do y'all think about his future? Do y'all think he's going to be blackballed because... Basically, he left one of the greatest, you know, conglomerates around. Man, I think, honestly, I think they left like gentlemen at this, uh, this business venture because, like, though there was a little turmoil and they decided to part ways, they still have deals together. 
And Meek's about to probably do his own shit. Meek has a big heart. Meek got the fire like hove. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely think that he got some more things cooking. He got a lot of, you know, a lot of people under his wing that he can manifest to make more deals. So I think it's a good move for Meek, for real, for real. What you think? I agree. I can agree with all that you just said. I think I don't. I don't even think that like Jay is still gonna fuck with him, even though he's not mm-hmm. under. Like so, it's no real fallout. He just has to leave, and he bowed out gracefully. He didn't do no yeah, wild bad exactly. Man. So, That's how I think business he's, supposed he's, to be rocking. Yeah, he see he he's gonna be all right. He's exactly, especially right. like black business. You know what and I'm saying? He's a like, good artist, so like he, he's exactly. talented. People still want to hear what he got mm-hmm. to say out his mouth when he raps. So yeah, he's his, good. His last joint, well, Ron, what you think about Big Ron? Uh, Meek is good now. Like Meek, I don't know if y'all know who Michael Rubin is. He's the mm-hmm. owner of the of the Seventy Sixes. Like it was a big all white party. You seen all every single rapper and athlete show up to it. That was Michael Rubin's party. Mm-hmm. Like that's what when Meek was bunny hopping. Mm-hmm. He was bunny hopping for Michael mm-hmm. Rubin. He he had, he had lost the bet to him. So like Meek is straight. Mike yeah. like Mike is gonna make sure Meek is good. And he left Rock Nation as a. Cause like Rock Nation is just management, so he he, he left his management company, and he also tr- he's trying to leave his label, but you no longer need a label in this day and age. Like yeah, Drake right, is no right. longer signed to Cash Money. Look at Drake's th- last four albums; they don't say Cash Money no more. It says straight Universal. Universal gave Drake four hundred million dollars just for distribution. So Meek can go. I'm not gonna say Meek gonna get four hundred million, but Meek could go somewhere right. and get a hundred million dollars from a, from Universal or. Uh, he at least 200, 250. He at least 250. This is the Drake, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You're going to say it to Drake 400. Okay. <laughs> Niggas going to be okay. His last album, what was it? Came out 20, 20, 2021. Yeah, 2021. And it was number four on the Billboard, I believe. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think people are really going to give him a chance. But he he tweeted, Luckily, I built my money and resources up. They, they would have started me out. I'm going to mm-hmm. make that $11 million one pro- one project. Shit might be sponsored by a bank or one of my friends. Okay, when he say his friends, I feel like his friends comes from his association with people nigga that from the street. There. So nigga from the streets, bro. What you mean, nigga? Like I, I don't <laughs> think he, Robert Kraft didn't meet him from being on the street. He met Meek Mill telling you, from him, other but, associates, but now, especially from Rock Nation. But Meek is still good with Ho. Like, like. But yeah, exactly. They, the relationship still is still good. It's because Meek's artists are still signed to Rock Nation. And and also, oh yeah, okay. But Meek, uh, MMG, I That's knew, been dead. I knew that Ben did. Yeah, him and Rick MMG Ross, been yeah. Dead. that you wasn't. Yeah, I was gonna. They been had their problems. Okay. Meek yeah, been him. Been yeah, that's a drain rock. He's been vocal about it. Yep, Wale gonna say that shit. You know, he going yeah. <laughs> from the city, B. Hey, <laughs> damn. All right, let's go to the next uh, chassis on my timeline. Uh, there's this new viral thing called vabbing. Um, let's get yeah, let's get to that and sexual attraction. TikTok, there's this viral thing about women they uh, getting their juices up and put it on their on their uh, neck. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like perfume. You know what I'm saying? Um, Coochie couture. Coochie. Coochie couture. Coochie couture. And that is hilarious. I am fucking dying. That's hilarious. Hey, Coochie done. couture. I am Look, done. I am it. fucking done. That's you it. did that. That's you it. fucking did that. You know what I'm saying? Did you but did you believe that the actually women are actually doing this shit? Bro. Uh, Erica Badu sold out a candle that oh, as a candle. Oh shit. Okay. There you gotta do. Bro, people were buying a candle because it smelled like Erica's body. But Erica Badu's pussy. Look. They're burning it. Whole house smelling like pussy. Oh my, oh my. Oh, here it is. So like, ba- on, man. I'm feeling Basically, so I, well, I would I would have bought some of that. Yeah, Erica Badu's lit. That Sorry. Badu, voodoo, you do. All right. We basically, do. We do. <laughs> Basically, you wear your vaginal fluids as perfume. I'm sorry, I'm you put your fingers inside yourself, dab your juice on your uh, wrist, neck, behind the ears, wherever you normally put perfume. People... Talking about it on TikTok, wrecking the the pheromones from your pussy will help you attract partners. Uh, Karma Kush, have you ever put that Kush on and walked around and someone say, "What you? That's dank. What you got, girl?" Kush on that bush. Yeah. <laughs> Thank girl. You lie. Wow, 
I've never no? used you never my about it? vaginal juices as perfume. That's crazy. The most that I've ever did when I put my fingers in my pussy is put it in my mouth. But mm. um, yeah, I've never did that. Or his mouth. Right? I thought I thought you were about to say put it on the nigga, nigga mustache. I wanna, I'm gonna, because when I first when I first Google that. that word and I saw what it said, I didn't go into each. I didn't click on links. Mm. I just I was like, wait, what? My put what the fuck? But when I came here and said that, and then my friend over there got to trying to educate me and tell me the the, the history of it, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do myself better and and educate myself on it before I speak on it. But I just know that all bucks when I first looked at that and what it said it was and what you do, nah. And I like pussy. Like I, I I'm 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 bisexual because I date men now because I date women. I'm on pussy more than dick and. Like I, so I, I, my face is in it, but I was never trying to take that bitch pussy juice and put it on my neck, like in my mouth. Yes, my neck, no. Um, I, I, I don't but know. what, what, what attracted you to her? Um, her all bucks. It would probably be her look. Like I was attracted to how she looked, but I would only stay attracted to her intelligence. Mm. Okay. So when you notice her, the smell. Go ahead, yeah. Um, if I, mean, I came you know, upon her and she smelled away, and I mean, if I smelled pussy, I felt like that wasn't I. I don't you know, know what pussy smelled like? Okay, I, I yeah, certain, yeah, and so certain things like yeah, so no. It's bad, but men are nasty. Men, I understand. Well, be right. men be licking feet off dirty women and eating ass, so. Um, I, I don't see that. I wouldn't like it. Y'all be looking dirty with my feet? Uh, not me. Hey, uh, go ahead, dog. Uh. <laughs> I'm about to say, look, man. The, the other guests talking about sucking toes. I don't suck toes. I suck toes, but I don't suck dirty women's toes. <laughs> After the club? No. <laughs> After, nah, King Wong, look, look, look at them toes. King Wong, look at them toes. After the club, he be like, mmm. <laughs> waves on swim, he be like, hey, yo, after the shower, you know what time it is. Down, I'm just looking down, just looking at her foot and waves. I'm looking at the toes. Under the sea. Uh, I'm looking at the them toes after she gets out of the shower. Do you, what, what the man does? He falling asleep. Start, start sucking toes. You down with that? Oh no! Nah. Anal and and like toe sucking and stuff. Cause I automatically think about like so. If you want to eat my ass, I'm thinking about the seventeen other bitches' asses that you ate and how mm-hmm. well no. their asses was taken care of. No, and, you can't, you can't because, think like that. Yes, I can because if if a no. dude all bucks. As soon as he's wanting to have sex with me, that's part of his initial first night. One, ass thank you. Who exactly. That? So that's what that. I'm saying. So, Ain't nobody first night ass eating. So again, no. I say it makes me think about how many other bitches you done had your ass between her cheeks and her shit wasn't <laughs> right. So she ain't really wiped how she was supposed to and all of that. So I ain't got time Man, for. If you was crazy. quick to offer me, I know you didn't offer another bitch, a, a bitch whose ass was bigger than mine. Or then what's bitch. the difference from that from giving head on the first date? What you mean? What's the difference? What's the from difference? That? Like you still? It's a booty hole. Yeah, that's 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 okay. it. Shit that's it. Shit doesn't come out of out of my. Pussy. I know. I can tell more it's from. It. On the, on the, I can tell. And sweating balls. What? No. We first of all, well, I don't. I, Look, man. You right? Okay. That can be their own. But I can smell that. I can tell that. Like I, I it, it's before. Yeah. And it's out, man. You ever had to stop somebody? I'm like, yo, I'm not. Yeah, you I, smell, I, bro. Yeah, yes. Damn. Yes. He's like, okay, let me run in the shower. It's too late. I'm already turned off. Oh you man. Should have thought about that before. You knew. You know your body. For sure. The, so you knew if we left the club that oh I'm really trying man I'm on her I'm trying. Hey right, babe, let me hit this. Like I respected you more that you wanted to go wash your balls before right you put quick. it in my mouth, but you knew your body was going to smell a type of way. You know your body. So negative on the play. I'm negative on the play. No, no points. No date. touchdown. No hit on the first date. No booty hole eating oh, no, on the first no, date. No, no, no. Yo, <laughs> boo- no booty action All on the first date. All right, so day, no. what, I'm going to ask you and you and you, we're quickly, like, what do y'all use, what are y'all good traits that y'all use to attract the other sex? Like, what do y'all, what, what's y'all traits that y'all use? Uh, I'm funny. Use your, my sense of humor, my comedy. They work. 
I never knew you were a comedian to women. For sure, man. Okay. <laughs> I don't so I got jokes, B. I just show up and I attract. So you just show up? Yeah. And maybe they smell you. Yeah, it ain't my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well. So you just be quiet. I mean, I'm not. I'm not.